This is my insulin pin here. I remove the cap and now I'll adjust it by turning this knob at the end to the amount that I need to take. It took Anthony McBride a while to get used to this idea of injecting himself every day with insulin. Wow. Who likes to stick they sell? Anthony's doctor, Guillermo Umpierrez, heads the diabetes clinic at Grady Hospital in Atlanta. He says half of the patients will eventually need insulin because diabetes is a progressive disease. The natural history of diabetes is that the pancreas, the organ that makes insulin, slow down the production of insulin and they progress the decline with time. But how long do you give them to try without insulin? What point do you say, you know what, that's, we know how this dance is gonna end? So the treatment of diabetes is treat to target. And we have parameters that we want the blood sugars to be less than, for example, 150. And after two or three months with one medicine, they're not there, we combine medicines, and after three to six months, they're not there, and then finally we go to insulin. So we try to start insulin early on when you need it, and we don't wait. The average time that a patient with type 2 diabetes with poor control, poor control, starting on insulin is eight to 10 years. It was rough but I knew that I needed to do it to help preserve my life. So I had to start doing it. We usually give one injection a day to the patient. We continue with the pills. About 50 to 60%, so more than half, do very well with one single injection. We adjust the dose. And the other 40% or half of the patients will require insulin before meals if that's what we're going to do. Doing very well. Before they start insulin, patients with diabetes typically worry about having too much sugar in the blood. But once on insulin, there's also a risk of having too little. And the number one risk when you put somebody on insulin is low blood sugars. We call that hypoglycemia. And hypoglycemia has been associated with loss of consciousness, uh, heart attacks, car accidents. The new insulin formulation has been shown to reduce the risk of low blood sugar compared to, to the old type of insulin. I kind of bottled up a little of this fat part. Now, that was painless. The insulin syringes are so small that you don't really even feel it. They may be frightened or even see it as a failure when, when they have to go on insulin, but how do they feel after they start? They feel much better immediately. And we have to tell this to the patient. I mean, you, you are going to the bathroom three, four times a night. If you take this injection, likely you will stop going there. You get a better sleep, you feel better, your energy is back. Mm -hmm. uh, look at you and say, okay, I'll try. And when they take it and the needle is so little, they don't feel it. Most of them accept that. Some of that fear goes away. Yeah. Life is worth living. So you had to do things to preserve it. Once you get something, then you got to try to make it work best in your interest so you can keep living. <laughs>